Welcome back to the Morningside Arena here in Leicester for this year's Premier League pool. Ten players remained at the beginning of day seven, with that number being cut down to just six. By the end of the day, Pelovanovic was the first player to qualify for the next stage. The Bosnian beat Skyler Woodward in his opening game of the afternoon to book his spot. World number one, Francisco Sanchez Ruiz. Well, what a day he had. He had a clean sweep yesterday, winning all five matches. That sent him to the top of the table for the first time this week. Can he add another major matchroom pool tournament to his CV? Jason Shaw joined FSR and Pilovanovic in the last six, qualifying comfortably with back-to-back -back wins against Alex Pagalayan and still the defending champion, Albion Ocean. Unfortunately, the defending champion was out of sorts yesterday as he finished bottom of the table with only one win since day five. And the last three spots were all up for grabs heading into the evening session. Now, Yuki Oi, and Alex Pagalain did enough to book their place, finishing with 15 points, which left a straight shootout between Yushishun and Woodward for the last remaining spot in which Conrad Yushun won five wrecks to three. And what does it mean? This is the final six. We started with 16. Six remain here on day eight. Ruiz, the world number one, the current world champ and US Open champ, sits at the top. Pilovanovic had the top spot for a while. He's just two behind. But it's all about the top four. The top four will make our semi-finals later this evening. Conrad's on 13. He sits at the bottom. He's got matches to win. And if you fancy a little flutter... Where is your money going? Jason Shaw, desperate to win a matchroom pool event, 7-2, Oi 5-1, 44 years of age, Paga Lion. He's done it all, he's seen it all, he's got the t-shirt. 6-1. So what have we got for you today? This is the action table two. Oi starts against Perlovanovic. Then it's Ruiz, the world number one, playing Nuki Oi. So Oi's a double header. Well, he stays on for three matches, look at that. He can really get into the flow there. Pagalion, then we finish with short Pagalion. And table one. This is the feature table. This is the one we will be watching. Well, we start off with Shaw, Yushishin, two of the best left-handers in the sport. Yushin stays on against Pagalion. Then comes back Shaw against Ruiz. And then Pelovanic will finish table one with back-to-back -back matches. Joining me for this action, clearly been to the merchandise shop in his Leicester Tigers tracksuit, Alex Layla. Yeah, Premiership rugby team. Happy to be here. Day eight, final day, races to seven in the semi-finals and final. That makes FSR for me a little, little bit more of the favorite than he already is. But a lot of pressure early on on Pegaline and Justicin, especially on Justicin. He's well behind. You know, he really needs to win four out of five matches, I feel, to have a chance. Well, you know, it's early to start calculating, but three out of five, I don't think that would cut it. Under the gun, Yuzhi Shin, but he's shown a lot of heart in this event. Let's see how he does against Jason Shaw. Yeah, it was nice to see the faces in the lobby when the players were coming down out of the elevators. Conrad Winslack. It's Guys, game day. Before we it's start, war. Like everyone has their like earphones yeah. in. You know, <coughs> little words said, few words said. Yeah, we Thank was driving over here. Jason Shaw was Conrad in reception. I said, do you want to lift? He said, yeah. He never said a word. He had earphones in, listened to his music. He's come in this venue pumped. He wants to win this title. You should shun to break. And it's not a bad one. Doesn't look like he's going to get a shot, Alex. Oh, the five plays a little roll at the end of the rack. That may just make the safety shot a little easier than what it was going to be. Yeah, I'd be happy with this. So your pick to win Sanchez-Ruiz? Um, yeah. You know, 
for how he has played the past 50 months and for how he's especially ooh that's a lot of uh, and especially for how he's breaking in this event you don't get to win all your matches as he did on day seven you know close to the finish line he starts playing better where Shaw won two out of four yesterday Yushchishin and Peggy Lyon only won one out of four matches yesterday tells you something I'm gonna go for Jason not just because he's flutes a hook safety kicking at that ball I just think he's too good of a player to be in the situation he finds himself in and listen he's won a lot of pool tournaments but the fact that you know matchroom sport have come into the world a nine ball in the last Attention, please. two and a bit years obviously over covid as well so it's all it's all been a bit a bit messed up the fact that they've come in they're investing a lot of time a lot of money into the sport so the fact that he's yet to win an individual title in this arena this you know this type of setup i just think he's too good not to win one agree good point but it's a long day. All stroke. And no contact you know, ball being pumped up. I'm not saying it's wrong, but it's going to be a long day of pool. Many matches. Yeah, can I take Face it back after top. that kick shot? Here's another look. Look at the cue ball arc after the long rail. Doesn't matter who is at the table on the match room. TV table. Every tournament you see a couple of one rail kick shots missed like that. They know it slides, but then it slides just that bit more. A player that I am looking forward to see how he gets on today. Well, there's a few players, I won't lie, but one man stands out. It was the man who sat at the top of the table for quite a little bit. Young 21-year-old Sanjin. I want to see how he gets on today. He's, he's had a lot of the headlines this week, and today's a big day. As you said, Alex, you've spotted the players. Please it's stop game the day. Yeah, you know, it's been, a, it, it's been a, a book of many chapters and today the final chapter will be written, but every player has its story. Peglivanovic, how will he handle after coming off of cloud nine yesterday? Uh, Peglivanovic has played a lot of pool, pocketed many balls. Will he get close to his best game today? He'll need to. needs to play close to his best and get the rolls to qualify pump this in he's had two ninth place finishes in his campaign in Vegas before coming here. That's decent considering the fields. Connor, your session wins the first track. So Jason Shaw gave ball in hand up. Conrad played a good shot to knock a bad ball out. He takes the opener. Oi is playing Pelovanovic on the other table. Nukio is at the table. He's got three balls left. He's looking good to take the opener over there as well. Oi sits in fourth place on 15 points, the same amount of points as Shaw. Pagalion is just below Oi in fifth. Everyone's going to be playing it's everybody. Six players are left. Everybody plays five matches. Top four make the semis. Yeah, and FSR are really in a good spot. five matches he's with one foot in the semi-finals but he can not allow himself to take his foot off the gas make sure to qualify and not fall out of his concentration and his good habits long two ball I think it goes no he's jumping Hmm. Extension. Extension, please. Very aggressive, Shaw. 
also because he has an angle on the two cue ball will travel to the left makes that six ball big wasn't far away and he won't mind where the ball's finished it could have been a lot worse have another look yeah just fired the two into the long rail and the bump on the pink four has worked out okay combination onto the three is super super difficult just because the three's not over the pocket so he probably won't even attempt that is this some sort of two-way bank alex into the top left mm. let me see difficult it is difficult containing safeties he has a couple of options meaning to just protect the two the cut to the pocket low right is very steep and needs to hit this crisp shot very nice yeah this is what this match He's going to be all about something about the left-handers in, in Q Sports, where they just seem to be the best potters. Look at that one. It was a beauty. Yeah, and I like his rhythm on that shot, how he prepared himself. He looks, considering the weight of this match, he looks calm. Controlled aggression. Thirty seconds for every shot. Hands that little gallop. <coughs> Only good Polish players. He's not. If you ask 100 pool fans who the best Polish player is, some would say Juszczyzin, but certainly not a majority. But it's the quality of the Polish players. They have so many top players. So good for Juszczyzin, he got the call Good that he has performed as he has done. It's been great throughout the whole week. Carlos Juszczyzin wins the second rack. Well, that was all about the two ball, wasn't it? Shaw went airborne, missed the pot. You should could have played safe, decided to go for it. Don't blame him. He's sort of got to go for it because he sits in last place. He's in sixth spot on 13 points on his own on 13. Pagline's just above him on 14. And we've got a couple of players on 15, 16, and Ruiz on 18 alone at the top. Just lost six matches, Ruiz, in the end. The third rack. Yeah, big shot to take on. Leading with by the risk of being well. called a cynic scrutinizer. You know, being pumped up, Jason Shaw, he missed that kick shot by quite a margin. Now took on a very difficult jump. Far from certain. Pushing the boat out. On the other hand, he's sticking to his guns. Oh, look at this. This is a generous split. You never know where the balls are going to land on the break shot. It's just the opening shot of the game, so all you can do is break the balls as best you can. Some days you have a shot on the lowest ball, some days you don't. But look, the three balls sitting down near the two, the pink falls over the pocket, the five to six is, is easy. Yushishin looking good, but also helped by Shaw early in this match. So important to start the day good. Let's say Yushishin wins this match 5-1. What will that do to Shaw's mindset? And you're already chasing after your first match.
Yeah, and because we are playing group formats, a few times you play back-to-back -back matches and that is the case here. Conrad's all about flair and confidence. If he beats Shaw Big, he stays on to play Pagalion. Ideal. And Pagalion will be playing his first match. Pagalion is just above Yushishin in fifth place. I'd be happy being Yushishin. So, looking to go 3-0. Can you say he has this match won, but still needs to win it? He's in a good place. 3-0 over Jason Shaw. Conrad Justicin for Poland blitzes in the opening match. Jason Shaw to break, trading 3 0. Better than never. It's a good run. Makes the one. Shape on a two, okay. Two balls down and an open position for Jason Shaw. It's all about cue ball control from here. So checks out, keeps it flat, the cue ball. Interesting choice. Looking to play shots with authority, keep the stroke alive. about Pega Lion during the week as Pega Lion emphasized that he's a cue ball player Jason Shaw very much the opposite of course he plays good position but he plays more in zones for him it's important that he stays in a rhythm shot maker that he is Jason Shaw wins the rock Keep the game flowing. That's a very speedy break and run. First wreck on the board on day eight. Yeah, talking of speedy. New Q's won the opening two. Pelovanovic. Couple of days, Pelovanovic was at the top of the table. Before he wins this, still early days, he goes level. 
with Sanjin on points. Break five. Going to have to stretch into break. Leading 3-1. It's not a surprise to me. Because the thing is, that first 3-0 is a blitz. Yeah? Vroom, vroom, vroom. He gets open shots. Then a little commercial break. A break and run by Shaw, and then the match changes. Yeah? He's in a winning position, and then he's... He's defending his position. Because it is skill making that one ball in the side. He was doing so before. Just pressure. Throughout the day we'll see in big wrecks, big moments, players having difficulty to track that one towards the side. Ball of right spin, this will swerve. Not as much as he would have liked. A little fuller on the one would have been better. Big shot coming up for Jason. You expect him to pot these, but they're always a little tricky. Yes, played it at the right pace. Knew if he caught the rail, it would slide in. Has he been fortunate there? I mean, it's going to be very thin, but he didn't want to bump that five ball, did he? Yeah, for me, he's, he's gone in this, and it's easy for me yeah, to judge, but it seems to me that he's gone in too pumped. Go, go, go. Looking for that gear. I mean, he's still there, he can run out. But he needed luck with his position on the four. know play in rhythm when you can and a, li a little slower when you must okay he's going to be drawing the cue ball back got to make sure he gets past this nine he'll come over to the side rail yeah, just like that. Needs the cue ball to bounce. Got a bit of an angle. Mm. To rip it. Nice. Nicely done. He's chasing the rack. Yeah. But after his positional loss on the three since then since that four ball he's playing a little bit slower drive break Shaw by Eustace a steal from Jason Shaw and he'll break in break six he's back in the game that's how quick it goes yeah this point last year Jason Shaw qualified for the semi-finals he took a top four spot and he finished in fourth position on 17 points. So at this stage, he'd won 17 out of his 29 matches. Rex six. Jason Joshua Schultz Filler break. finished top Trailing by three Rex of the two. table last year before the semi-finals. He won 20 matches out of his 29. Ruiz has a chance to beat that record. Look at that. Look at that. Sweet. Straight on the two. Stop shot for position on the three. It's a cruel game. Um, saying that from Eustachian's perspective, the only thing he's done wrong is a dry break and that kick shot on the one 
where he left Jason Shaw straight in. Yes, this is the beauty of nine ball. One minute, the sport, the, you know, the game of pool can help you, meaning you're getting shots off the break. And then for the next three racks, it's all gone your opponent's way. And this is why it's it's very nervy out there, isn't it, Alex? This is why a pool player goes through crazy emotions at the table because at any given moment, you can just lose the match or you might have to step up and knock a finish in from nowhere to win a match. It's a little bit like poker in that you can lose on the river on the last card. You're never safe. And in the same way, in the chair, you're never out of it. You always have to stay within the rails with your mindset. Well, Conrad went through this last night, didn't he, when he played Woodward? He was well up in the match. Woodward come back to 4-3. He missed the shocker on the four ball. And Yushishan got the win. He knows only too well what this is all about. Nice, nice stroke there. Found his rhythm. Jason Shaw. And there it the is, he lost the opening three racks, but Eagle Eye Jason Shaw has won the next three. We're tied at 3-3. Three, three. over six days. When an irresistible force meets an immovable object, something is got to give, but nothing is given yet. Final of a matchroom promoted tournament, the majors in the game. And up on the wrong end against an opponent of this quality. as it's been from in the last couple of rounds. Break. Used to gin. Three racks each. Time to bounce back. To the break. Be hard headed in this game. Stubborn. Oy, oy, oy. Nice roll. Look at that. <laughs> the table is facilitating both players. It's crazy this. <coughs> tink, tink. Three kisses to get in position on the two. Just checking. It's vital to have the the picture, mental picture of the shot, hundred percent clear. Slight distraction. You'll still make the ball, but hit it thick, and then be on a funny angle, close to the rail. It's a funny game, this, especially on the speed cloth. Sliding cue ball. Very little grip between the balls. The 
the fact that it that it looked easy after the break is the trap. That's the trap. In practice, he'd run out 29 from 30. This is where it counts. Just like penalties, you can practice penalties, <laughs> but it's all about doing it when you're out there. Yeah, and Jason will also know that he was three down in this match, so at three down sat in your chair, Alex, you would take four three down, wouldn't you, in any match? Come on, your session. When's the right? A timely break and run. And Conrad Dushan, he needs this win. He currently sits in sixth place. He's playing right after against Pegulain. Correct. Yushchishin is. I said that that's a good thing, especially if he wins. And especially if he overcomes, if he wins this match, having overcome Jason Shaw's fight back. So there was a scenario possible where he would win 5-1. No pressure, just cruising. But I would feel better. Yeah, Having a Jason little cruise, break. fight back from Shaw, be mentally strong, win it from there, then I would feel even more ready for the next match. Well, someone who does need a fight back, Pelovanovic, we've just seen it on our screen. Four racks to zero, down against Oi. Shaw's going to get a shot on the, the shot on the two ball, rather. Three balls open, four balls over the side. This has been all about the break, this match. Yeah, and a very willing two ball. I haven't seen a match like this yet. Yeah, you know what's going to happen in the last rack. Conrad's going to break. The balls are going to all go ugly. I'm going to have a monster safety rack. Or not. But likely on a hill hill case game so often. Slightly off angle. Will he chip it in or go to the top rail? There you go. No, he's just rolled it in. That's okay. He's not scared of leaving a little bit of distance, is Jason. He'll always back himself to pop the ball. Spent four days in Sheffield leading up to this event. Working with Steve Feeney, site right coach. You're also a site right coach, Alex. Yeah, I was disappointed I didn't get the call. <laughs> no, no, I'm kidding. No, Good but point. <laughs> the, the thing is, he worked for three days, and and snooker with Feeney is about the basics. Doing the same thing every time, being consistent. So why would Jason go to a snooker coach? Um, because technically, that's where his background is, and he believes in a technical, in a, in the snooker style setup. Being square onto the ball, don't use too much side, keep your stroke and your delivery compact. Table two, always at the table. This engine's going through a bit of a, a slump. Yeah, will be difficult to stop the rot. Imagine he yeah, loses 5 1, 5 0, and then opens his, his phone after the match, opens his phone and gets like 12 messages saying, it's okay, you know, it's okay, you'll be fine. And people trying to comfort you, but basically they're saying, it's not going well, don't worry. Cue ball? Cue ball though, the cue ball. I'll tell you what, they're both playing a lot of balls on the break. Unbelievable. Will he jump? It's an easier jump than what Jason Shaw played. Coming to the table with his jump cue. Pool. Sanjin is still alive in that match on table two. Oh, he missed the seven ball. He's now 4-1. Push out called. Push out called. Oh, he's giving shot. No. Hmm. Funny, Your interesting. Choice, so the jump still on, but he pushed the three ball in position. So now it's value attacking the two ball. 
Extension, please. I, I wouldn't have the heart to play this push. Because you know he's going to play it. So you know you have to get back to the chair, sit, and suffer. Anxious moments for Eustachian. Bluff called by Shaw. Shaw's going airborne. He's flying high. What a shot he's played there. Stop shot as well. He's on the three ball. You called it, Alex. I would do... Yeah, it's... And it, I'm not sure when Eustachian went back to the chair if he was still convinced of his decision. Listen, it was a great jump shot as well. It wasn't easy. He had distance. He was going in the pocket. Uh, at that angle where you can't hit it had too hard as well. Yeah, but you don't want to give your opponent a, I know. a shot where he wins the wreck. I know. I'm just not taking any away, anything away from the shot. That's all. Yeah, it was a good shot. And a good win. Hey, hey, 3-0 down. Yeah. Big win for Shaw, a big loss for Eustachian. And now, having led 3-0, he has to play directly hereafter. Yeah, you were talking about he's going to be feeling good going into his next match. He's not going to be feeling good now because this nine ball. Right, but a fantastic match. comeback Jason Shaw. from Scotland's Jason Shaw. He was three down in that match. He sits at third in the table. He wins five racks to four. table diamond tables are designed and manufactured from the highest quality sustainable hardwoods utilizing world-renowned designs diamond tables are unparalleled for playability and durability after all they are designed by players for players The championship is being played with the new RMS tournament set. Featuring a unique molecular structure, it guarantees razor-sharp precision and unsurpassed longevity. Unquestionably the best pool balls in the world, this set is available in a TV and a value pack version, as well as in the new My RMF Ranger of Ball and Q cases. Now you can bring and play with the best ball set everywhere you go. My RMF, bringing new dimensions to your billiards experience. 
of the Kazoo, Champion of Champions! Welcome back. This is the final day here at the Premier League pool. By tonight, we will know our champion. What a match we've just started off with here. Shaw was 3-0 down. He hung in, he got the win. This is what it means to the league table. Conrad stays on 13 at the bottom of the table. That was a big match, that a big loss when he looked so good. Shaw up to 16 points in third looking good looking strong as he has done all week confirmation of the win 5-4 Conrad stays on it's going to be in his mind a little bit that loss so he's got to try and forget about that because he's going to play another two matches here on table one in the afternoon session Pagaline up next then we'll see Shaw Conrad will come back out onto centre stage where we finish with Ruiz Pelovanovic. Thanks, guys. All of us, Alex. Just as Jason Shaw kept the faith being down 3 0, Yushishin needs to try and make a reset, stay positive, or get positive again, even though there was a painful loss against Shaw. Connor wins the lack. Worst case, Before we start, guys, let me remind you about the possible break qualify, again. Thank you. He'd still like to be ahead of his opponent in this match. Uh, uh, wait, he would still like to be in front That's of right. the number six. Uh, so he's the break. There's a prize money difference there. think he can see the two. Lost the case game against Shaw on a push out. And as so often the lesson comes after the exam. Shot called. Without a doubt, Alex Pegelein, the most knowledgeable player in the field. Your choice, Makes Alex. It's a little harder to play push out against. In general, in general, I think if you're playing a more knowledgeable player, you want to push out for execution shots. So long and thin, long and slow. Where the answer is easy to see, somewhat tough to execute. <coughs> I 
want it to be soft and thin. Failed. This is an easy snooker for Eustachian. Tiger Lion's going to be in trouble. Welded up to the nine. If he'd have got the cue ball touching the nine, kind of on the bottom side of it, that would have took away this rail. Needs to go three rails just below the seven or twice across, long, long. Mm. Found the line for a direct hit. Nice try. Little too soft. Back to center table off of two rails or a cut on the five. Then off of the five, come down table to the right side of the six. Hmm. Interesting shot. Can also go two rails with left. This is because he hit that five ball fat. Can cross it, bank the six towards the seven and hide behind the nine. Oi, oi, oi. No, 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 no. That looked frustrated. Pulled the trigger too quick. He's an offensive beast. Defense, and he'll be one to admit it. Defense still needs work for Eustachian. The man he's playing is an art extension call this side of the, the game of nine ball. Playing off the right edge of the six, trying to get the cue ball back down to where it is. This is a little thick, it's a little slow. You should second chance in this frame. practice area peg lion earlier this morning he said okay guys i'm here didn't expect to see you admitted he didn't hadn't expected to qualify losing three out of four matches yesterday a little short of pace again for comrade i like it Key balls come round just enough. An unorthodox grip at the back of his cue. Used to shin. Just Cheshire wins the first wreck. A little bit scrappy, but all that matters is that scoreline there. 1 0. Marcel Eckhart, by the way, compliments for his pronunciation. I'm trying to get it right. He gets it better. Just Cheshire. 
Marcel Eckert, top referee, want to always sweat every detail. He yeah. gets the names right. Yeah, works on the, the second snooker rack. tour as well. Very to good break. snooker referee. Training by one rack to nil. Long days for the referees as well, aren't they? Keeping the concentration up match after match. Well, I have to state that a nine ball match is not as hard work as a snooker match for the referee. if you're a snooker ref and you just forget what break they're on you're in a bit of trouble then aren't you yeah that's the thing constantly on the job during snooker in a three four hour match imagine and players get to sit down after that inning referees constantly on it Good opportunity for Peggy Lyon to get some rhythm. It's his first match on day eight. Going in between <laughs> six and nine. Ooh. Shot is good enough. We spoke about the length of his backswing, in that it regularly is very short, and that sometimes, at times, especially on bigger strokes, leads to movement on the shot. That's our assumption. On that four ball, he played it well. Looked smooth. Almost as if that backswing is in two phases. First part short and slow. And then a little more. Did you see that? Yeah, he's nice to watch Alex because obviously we used to play the game and it's just nice seeing how his mind works, you can see it's all about the cue ball. Yeah, he's going to pop the seven, but he needs to get this cue ball exactly where he wants it. He wants to leave himself the right angle. Couple of good strokes in. playing two matches in this afternoon session the second one is against Shaw on table two so Alex apart the from the the running into the nine ball for position on the four Good strokes by Pengeline. Weren't very difficult shots, but we've been watching these players with a lot of attention. We're getting a good feel and understanding for where they are. Are they feeling comfortable? Are they feeling tight? Pengeline seems to be in a good place. The rack, one rack each, Connor, to chest in the rack. Shot coming up for you, Chishin. A lot of distance to the two ball. Little room around the three. Can try and come in between the eight and nine or a run into the nine. Oh, 
Uh, -huh. big miss. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it wasn't an easy shot, but like I said, we're getting a real good feel for how players play and the rhythm. And this looked a little rushed. He's damaged. He's hurt after his loss against Shaw. Yep, he's got to bounce back, though, because losses can come thick and well, stroke, fast. Well, Alex won't be happy with that attempt. He really won't. That will frustrate him. Please start the clock. Yeah. You wouldn't expect that from a player of his caliber. Knowledgeable player that he is. Now the route from the two to the three. Hmm. Extension, please. Yeah, exactly. He's playing safe. Or is this actually what he thinks is the easiest route? Hmm. I, I think I would have tried to get to the left side of the three and making sure to stay on the high side. So get in line or on the high side and that would leave you a good tight snooker behind the nine. Tighter than this. But it's a 30 second shot clock. And that's enough if you're feeling good, if it's straightforward. Missed the trick on his previous kick, wants to hit this three-quarter ball, cue ball towards the four and six. Oi, that's thin. That's too thin. Two sub-par shots by Peggy Lyon. Now the trick on the TV table in, in kick shots is to judge how much the cue ball slides. And I feel peg line at the moment is a little lost because on the first one where he scratched it, sliding was more than expected and on the three ball now it was less. <coughs> in between the eight and nine to get a good clean contact. Different route. Left handed, I think he can just stretch over this. Yes, he can. Right handed would have been awkward. Gain the lead, Yushishin. 2-1. This was his break. With some effort and some rolls, he's managed to protect that. The second match of today, Pega Lines first. 2-1 for Poland over Canada. Pega Lines to break in, rec four. over six days. When an irresistible force meets an immovable object, something is got to give, but nothing is given yet. Final of a matchroom promoted tournament, the majors in the game. Moved up on the wrong end against an opponent of this quality. as it's been from in the last couple of rounds. The 478th match of this terrific tournament in Fulda.
the fourth wreck. Alex Packer line to break. Trailing by two wrecks to one. Big match, number five and six. Playing on table one. And only four players to qualify for the semis later today. There will be a relief for the players that get to be in the semi-finals. Just a straightforward single knockout. Mano a mano. Looked like line was going to get a gold and then Nang got kicked towards the side. It went low. Now UQ always had a golden break over on the other table. On table two, that is. He trails Ruiz 2-1. If you want to watch that one as well. Matrim Multisport YouTube channel. Push. Table Push 2 has been available over there all week long. Cannot see the 2. He's called a push out. Now, if the 6 wouldn't be there, I think he would have attacked the 2 or attacked the 2. He would have played a s mini swerve, bring the cue ball to the left side of the table behind the seven and nine. Ten. Now bear in mind, Pegaline, that Yushchisin is a straight shooter. Your choice, Conrad. No, yeah, he'll play this. Don't think the kiss is big. Three quarter ball, make sure that the two ball misses the six and bring the cue ball over to the left. Hmm, jump is on. And the three to the side pocket is on. I'd be worried though, jumping this ball, that my cue ball would fall to the left lose position on the three. Not often we see Pagaline with a short stick, but that one, oh, and you'd have always backed him to bot that. The two ball was too close to the corner from Conrad. And the cue ball did fall to the left, but still within range. Now, does he need to work the cue ball in regard to that six, the green six? He's fine. Straight draw. Stay away from right spin here. Yeah, this is stop, 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 roll. Stop, run out. Connect the dots. That's how, mm, let's say, seven out of ten nine ball tables are played. One, two good shots in the beginning. You get in line and you stay in line. After the break, Alex Pegulayan getting ready, ready to sink the money ball. Levels to score. Not a break and run. Tricky push out because the safety, the snooker, was easy for Yushishin to get. Don't know if Pegulayan had envisioned the two ball position. But he jumped it and ran out from there. Like 
Five, two racks each. Come at your session to break. Don't want to be rude or cynical, but as they say in the States, in the world of pool, I think now there's a little more dog in Yushishin. That's how they say it. So he lost some of his bottle, it seems. That's the imp impression that I have after his loss against Shaw. He will stop on time. Point to six here. Yeah, the terminology that is often used around the pool halls in the States when somebody misses a ball. You might get one of the Americans say, he dogged it. Earl Strickland says it a lot, Tony Alex. Yeah, when um, a big match, historic match against Steve Davis. Did he say it then and jump up? Did he say it? He yelled it. Oh, did he? I, for I, everyone I to, to hear. Yeah, I need to rewatch that. Oh, he jumped, he jumped on his chair, right? Was that? Yeah, on his chair. He dogged it. <laughs> How would you translate it to, to English, to the uh, British uh, snooker fans? Yeah. He snatched it? Yeah, he twitched. He snatched it. Yeah. yeah, he crumbled. He fell apart. Well, yeah. <laughs> We've all done it. Imploded. D cell pulled a quick one. Lost the plot. Extension, please. Okay, he's playing a little bump out here. Yeah, and this is fine. This is fine. But after looking at that line from the seven to the eight, just fix on that aiming point. Forget about the eight ball. Not going to be able to get straight in on the nine. Take your medicine. What a different match this for Yushishin. He was cruising against J Jason Shaw. One wrong decision. A 4 4, I feel. Cost him the match. Come with your session. And now it's a more workmanlike approach. One shot at a time. Step by step closer to the winning line. Table two. Ruiz is at the top of the table. You won't believe what's just happened there, Alex. Ruiz broke off and didn't put the one in the side at the point. It's a shame. I'm thinking of that saying we used to have it, not so much now anymore, but we used to say Rest soccer six, or Alex football is break. 90 minutes, 11 Turning against 11, the and then the Germans win. You can almost say the same about FSR. Bunch of pool players come together. He takes the top prize. He's been winning so much. And for that reason, he's favorite to win here. But for the same reason, you would think, you know, his time has come to not win one. Amazing how the Spaniard has been able to keep his discipline, his focus, his energy throughout the past 15 months. one a lot of spin a lot of curve meaning you have to aim that ball that two ball I think with his cue about one third thicker than the final point of arrival on the two ball It's almost like a frisbee, the type of stroke it comes out. You're judging the curve.
lot will depend a Conrad on that brown seven obviously if there's a path for it to go it's not looking good but he's landed a little funny on this ball I think he can go forward and just slide past the six to the left side right side right side he knew that when playing position for the five that there was margin players are aware when they have multiple outs or when there's just one there's just one they'll prepare the shot differently I work with lower level players I always emphasize try and make it look as if you're paying the rent with pool <laughs> try and look like a pro like you mean it now let's watch Alex Pegaline's backswing his delivery he's smooth Smooth is relative. This was for him a very nice stroke. Alex Pagalain wins the wreck. Well, the opening match of the day here on day eight was Hill Hill. This one's 3 3. Are we going to finish with another cracker? We're going to take a short break. Seventh rack, the score is tied at three X each. I'm not use to break. In property and economy, you can speak of a buyer's market. That's what I think of when I see the breaks on table one today. Balls find pockets. Cue ball sees the two after most breaks. Open shots. Ooh, a little snatchy, a little quick one there. What's he left for Pagalayan? Maybe a slight edge. Had to do a lot with the cue ball, hence the miss. 
He needed speed, Eustachian, and precision. Double difficult. Extension. I can clip please. the top side of the two. Can he hit it thin enough to put it below the five? Yeah. Play this with pace. Try and hit the top side there. Yeah, there's nothing like a good roll yeah. in a game of pool. I know there was a lot of balls there. I don't mean I, anything I, bad by it. But I think he, he played to hit the top side. Gave him the biggest chance of separating the balls. I expected him to play with a bit more speed. But I'm sure he'd be happy with this. This will be played with P speed. Nice. Yeah, that's exactly how he's played it, isn't he, Alex? Keep the cue ball down here, hoped to get the two ball in that kind of area and see. He's good. He didn't sell out a shot. He survived this one. Roll up is super tough. No, 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 no. No, no, no. no. Wrong choice. No he said a couple of rats ago, Alex. Safety. Maybe he needs to work on that. Well, he's proving to be the case. He's been to me, you know, you know, I work a lot on defense with top players. He, he's been to me in The Hague. We worked on it. Um, this morning, we had breakfast. You were there, and he spoke about his tournament in Vegas. said that he didn't play good enough defense. Got outplayed by Little Co. He knows. He knows. But it's toe curling. Is that how you say it? Yeah, I mean, you know yourself, it's such a massive part of the game because all these players can break and run and knock the balls in when it counts. But when things get a little ugly and it's not going your way, that's what separates the, the best. Yeah, but it's it's toe curling. See someone lose an important fact like that, giving up ball in hand. Yeah, even though it wasn't ball in hand, what Alex means is he just sold out. He just left Alex straight in. I got distracted. Was it not ball in hand? Did that two ball reach the rail? Oh, yeah. Maybe, yeah, I know what you're saying. Yeah, yeah maybe it was. It was. Ball okay. I apologize. But even if you play a safety and you leave a pot, the fact is the safety's not good enough and you're just letting your opponent in. And yeah, but actually, if the safety... You're not supposed to leave a pot on 19 out of 20 times. If it's too difficult to protect the cue ball, play a containing safety, play the object ball. Easier said than done, but it's about recognizing if you're trying to survive or if you're trying to get ball in hand. And he played a roll up where he actually was in, in, in a tight spot. Still one more good shot needed for Pegaline. I think he'll stay top left of the eight ball. Leave a cut. Nice. Precision player. Found the right tip position on the cue ball, which allowed him to play that shot with conviction. Two more shots, and he'll take the lead, Pegalain. He's been chasing this game. He will break in the next rack. All I want, all I want is a nice, tense, thrilling finish of the round robin format today and if it means that both these players numbers five and six or one of them catches up with the rest i'm neutral Alex Pagaline with four Wins three up and breaking it's looking good for peggy line yeah still a lot to play for here on table one table two he's well underway ruiz is four two up he's playing oi 
This is the situation he is faced with. Extension code. And Ruiz will be playing on table one next, so... He's a busy man, just like all the players left. Five yeah, matches yeah. apiece today. And they they played play. enough ball. And they all came here from two, three-week campaign in Vegas. Good news. They all have a quiet, a slow schedule when they get home. The break has deserted Pagalayan. Dry break. Dry break. And to make things worse, an open shot for Eustachian. Right? Or does he need left? Because if that two ball is partly blocking by a millimeter, he can play the shot with left spin and twirl the one ball in. Throw it off line. Hmm. Has done too much. Don't think he has, he has a nice angle to come down table. Let's see the position of the three. If he goes forward, a gap between the five and nine. Or a cut on the three. Oh, he was perfect, actually. How many hill hill deciders can one player endure on one day? What's the most you've played on one day? Any idea? I have no clue about stuff like that, Alex. You're blessed with... Uh, an incompetent short-term memory, <laughs> long-term memory, I don't know. <laughs> Just pop the balls, Alex, that's all I did. Just pop the balls. Wow. One of the most successful Moscone Cup players. A world 8-ball champion. Nowadays, if you get your cue out to play English 8-ball, you're still in it to win it. And actually did win an event, or you're a runner-up? Uh, I won an event a couple of years ago and then stopped and yeah then recently yeah recently i got to a final yeah semifinal. like that sometimes we chat yeah i got to the final one of the most natural ball strikers in the game you are you're making me blush alex What do you play? Do you go forward, end up close to the pocket, or do you leave an angle and swing the cue ball around? Pagalain would swing the cue ball around, I know that. And I'm not surprised oh. to see Conrad go forward. <laughs> Dyson with the corner. Good Courageous shot. shot. Yeah, I think Pagalain's the type of guy where he, he's up for swinging that cue ball around off a few rails to land plumb on the nine. Okay, so Conrad's got this nine ball to tie the match up 4-4. Four, four. What do you think? High ball play short, long, Extension short, piece. or does he go lower on the cue ball and play it deep into the corner? What type of player do you think he is? He'll swing it round. Low ball. Yeah. No, he doesn't know, does he? But I think he is more low. But I think he's aiming high. Just playing off the two, maybe the top rail as well. Yeah, that's the shot. It's fine. There's always there's two session. ways of playing that shot. Ah, I hope he has had a good breakfast. Well, actually, he said next to us at breakfast. A couple of pancakes and two eggs. A full English breakfast. Because this is a rough. What time is it? It's just past, past midday. And he's up for a second Hill Hill decider of today. Yeah, and he broke against Jason. He got the break here. So I'm going to be very interested, Alex, 
If he breaks off, pops two or three, and doesn't have a shot and has to play a push, very intrigued to see what situation Conrad is faced with here in the decider. Big line broke dry. Yuchishin breaks dry. And luckily for the breaker, that four balls tied up. Let's look at Peggy Lyons. Most plausible solution to open up the four. Now, if the cue ball would end up where the one is on the three, I think that would give him a two rail route to bump the six. If he doesn't get ideal, he can play the three and try to land close to the long rail on the left. Or a tight hook behind the six or on the low rail, the short rail. Low left, is there a... No. I was thinking about opening up here, but that's too risky. Okay, he has that angle. Two rail route to open the 4-6. But you there's a way. So you play this. You're never going to miss the six. Maybe you run into the four. Okay. Extension. Or both. Extension or the six, but never miss the six. Because insurance. then you're hooked in the four. Yeah, so you're playing this with some insurance in mind. Okay, what bump has he got? What bump has he got? Yeah, he made sure to not miss the six. Safety. Hmm. What's the shot? I don't know. Yeah, I need more than 30 seconds to look, I'm afraid. Stunned roll behind the six. Oh, this is a good one. Oh, nice. Perfect. Yeah, creativity at its finest there from Alex. Beautiful. Beautiful. Playing with a lot of left spin, opening up that four ball. So that gave him an actual chance to make it. Ay, ay, ay. Painful. Yep. This is what you called, oh, Alex Layla. This is exactly oh, what you've called. You've got to hit the four ball. It's just... And play start the, you just have to hit the four. It's as simple as that. And at this level, this should not miss that four ball. Yeah, it was a good safety by Pegline. He has misplayed a couple of straight backs. But in this case, I think the urgency of the shot clock and the 4-4 four -four score line Sad. made him go instinctive. Sanchez about to extend the lead at the top of the table with a win over Oi. That takes his rally up to 19 points. Sanchez Ruiz will be up next against Jason Shaw on table one. Wrecking Ruiz. He's rolling. Yeah, and what's funny is after this match, Pagline will go over to table two. Oh, yeah, he's playing Oi, and immediately after, he's playing Jason Shaw. So this is how important these little racks are, the fact that he got in with a good safety. Three balls to go. 
He knocks them both in. He's going to simply grab his cue sticks and just walk to the other arena, feeling really good about himself. Conrad, on the other hand, disastrous start to lose Hill Hill in both of his opening matches. Sharp, clean pop. He's been. He, he looks good, Pega Line. He looks good. Strokes well. Looks comfortable under the pressure. This Hill Hill victory. It's right. in the Hill Hill victory right. over line. Konrad Yushishin sets him up well. He started today in fifth place. Needs to get that place in the top four for a place in the semi-final. Goes over to table two, the opponent, Nayuki Oi, who just lost his match against FSR. Can peg a line, catch a gear, and go all the way today in the PLP on day eight. tables are designed and manufactured from the highest quality sustainable hardwoods utilizing world-renowned designs diamond tables are unparalleled for playability and durability after all they are designed by players for players Championship is being played with the new RMS tournament set. Featuring a unique molecular structure, it guarantees razor sharp precision and unsurpassed longevity. Unquestionably the best pool balls in the world, this set is available in a TV and a value pack version, as well as in the new My RMF Ranger of Ball and Q cases. Now you can bring and play with the best ball set everywhere you go. My RMF, bringing new dimensions to your billiards experience. Of the Kazoo Champion of Champions! Let's hear it for your 
champion of champions, Ronnie the Rocket O'Sullivan! Huge disappointment for Conrad Yusushin for the second match in a row. He could have won both so far today. Both gone the distance, but now it's two defeats out of two on this final day for the pool. Alex Pagalayan, though, off to a very impressive start on this last day of the Premier League. He beats Yusushin by five racks to four. That's how it stands at the moment. Francisco Sanchez Ruiz, having just beaten Nayuki Oi 5-1, Continues to strengthen his position at the top of the table. Oi, though, still occupying that all-important fourth and final qualifying position at the moment. And with one win and one defeat so far today, Oi stays on for his third match in a row on table two against Pagalion, who's coming off the back of that win. And then Pagalion will be staying on to face Jason Shaw. Before that, Shaw has business to take care of on the main table against Francisco Sanchez Ruiz, who will also be playing in the last match of the session against Sanyan Pelovanovic. And in between those two, Pelovanovic will face Yusushin. Really needs to bounce back. Well, Jeremy alongside me, that's got to be hard for Conrad to take. He's battled so hard throughout the tournament. He's had his ups and downs. Could have won both of those matches, and he'd be in a great position now. As it is, it's uh, zero for two. Yeah, and I'll, I'll tell you from what I saw, I didn't get to see every shot, but he played really solid. It took a, a great Jason Shaw to make a comeback in the first match. And then Alex, who's been getting in better form every day, it seems. And uh, we'll see how it continues for Conrad, but he's got to hopefully not hang his head too low after two defeats. The line had completed his last match last night. He still didn't know. There was still a very good chance he could miss out, but he did get through to the final day, and so far he's making the most of it. So next up, as I was saying, it's two members of the European team, which won Francisco Moscone Sanchez Cup for the third time the in a row. Just before Christmas, Francisco Sanchez Ruiz Francisco will start Sanchez things off Ruiz against break. Jason Shaw. Here's the one down, of course. The two looks good. I'll tell you, how many Hill Hill matches has Conrad been involved in this week? It's been kind of incredible, really. We expected a lot of close matches. Players getting in more form every day and, of course, ready for the test. And what a test we have here. Kind of what I felt good chance of being our final later between Shaw and Ruiz. I make it eight Hill Hills that Yusuchin has played since the tournament began. From 26 matches. Shaw's had plenty himself. Yeah, and he's really concerned about the six here, and I thought he would just kind of stun his ball with a little center, trying to track it one rail. I wouldn't worry about getting all the way down with a shot you're putting a little speed into and cheating the pocket. It could get away from you. Yeah, like that. And I wouldn't hate to end up behind a ball. This is going to end up perfect, actually. Again, we talk about it so often how the break shot is really. Uh, I don't know exactly how to say it, the, what they really feed off of. First shot of the game, and it's almost like 
you know, if you're in the chair, you're sweating every ball going around the table, the cue ball, if you're obviously breaking the balls, you're doing the same. And this guy, nobody has broken better the last year and a half. Yeah, I know what you mean. It's hard to find the right word to sum up what you're trying to say there. But I guess if you're breaking well, one term you could use is that it's the bedrock <coughs> of everything else. Yeah, absolutely. And we'll see if he draws up the rail to get a little angle. Yeah, really nice. Didn't try to force it over behind the eight to get a natural angle. He'll just draw up the side rail. I think probably no one has broken Rand more than FSR this week. Hence why he's ahead. Done it again at the start of this match against Jason Shaw. So he's already had a match today. He beat Naoki Oi by five racks to one. So Sanchez Ruiz now on 19 wins. Remember today, it's all about making it into the top four to go through to the semi-finals tonight. So you're looking at, well, Conrad Yusushin best he can get to now is 16 wins so he's going to be a long way behind him then you look at Pagaline in fifth place now if he was to win all of his remaining matches he'd get to 19 wins but he's 37 behind Sanchez where he's on the racks difference and when you take into account that these guys are all going to be Second playing rack, each other Jason short break, I think we can pretty safely say there is no way Sanchez Ruiz will not be in the last four this evening yeah it's definitely more about the remaining three that's going to join him in those semifinals and then possibly a final. Pretty impressive opening match for Jason. Didn't have much early down 3 0 against Conrad. And really a lot of resolve and a huge jump shot at Hill Hill. And I like what he did as far as taking on the jump shot after Conrad rolling out. Oh, there's that awful kiss Pasha. that sometimes Ball produces a, a golden break, but the other end of it is sometimes the cue ball gets lost. Start the clock, please. And that's where the players are going to have to m tweak the break and, and you know follow the Spanish champion uh, to where he avoids that kiss a lot. Now, he isn't going to get many golden breaks because of it, but... It's not what the players are really leaning on when it comes to the break shot. Okay, these are all set up for success. A little stop shot on the three carries you to the four, to the six, and the seven in the side. So moving on for what should be a 2 0 lead. He'll have looked at the table, no doubt, and he knows he's going to be in the semi-finals now. And yes, it makes a difference where you finish in terms of who you then play in the next round. But I don't think he's even going to be too bothered about who that is. All top players, the full, obviously showing a good bit of form to get through. So in a sense, there's no incentive for him, but there'll be absolutely no let up from him at all. And he will want to stay in this zone he's in all the way through the rest of the day so that he'll be in it by the time we get to the semis tonight. Yeah, for these players, besides maybe taking a break away from the game and not hitting that many balls for one reason or another, when they're in form, they want to stay in form because the game's so mental. You know, a few so-so strokes uh, off with the speed, that, that can play into you a little bit later on, even though what looks like matches that don't mean a ton to Ruiz at the moment. So-so <coughs> strokes or so-so strokes? Yeah, got I was knocked out earlier. Yeah, I was impressed with that young lady, both young ladies, and the end as well. Extension. Extension called. Khalid Al Gamdi found a bit of form towards the end. Yeah, absolutely. And oh, wow, he lost the cue ball off the table, Alex, and missed the eight on table two. So a funny little shot there. I love the way Alex sort of jumped out of the way there of the cue ball, even though it was going in the other direction. Well, Alex is the third rack. Francisco Sanchez. All the players race. are like this, and I think Leading sports is just like that in general, but Alex will laugh at himself as quick as anyone else. There's that where he avoids that kiss and gets the cue ball somewhat back to the center. It doesn't always happen, but seems to happen more often than not.
Looks like he wants to use the purple, maybe, to hold the cue ball. Could come across, but he f falls on the rail with the pink a little covered up, and it helps things later on for getting shape on the pink. So I think into the purple. Nice shot. Got a choice here, one rail between the eight and nine. He probably will come around the seven. Maybe cheat the pocket a little bit. Hit each other twice already in this tournament. Sure one in the first phase, Sanchez Ruiz in the second. so reliable at the moment in situations like this. Well, there was one rack yesterday where he missed two pots in the same rack, and we're all thinking that's about as many pots as he's missed in a month at any stage during this run. Just an aberration, though. Yeah, he stays in a nice flow. A lot of the same swings we talk about a lot that the better players do, and... Three zero. Francisco Sanchez Ruiz. And play pool better than this. Francisco Sanchez Ruiz is streaking away here. Two hundred and fifty six hopefuls go into action over six days. Something is got to give, but nothing is given yet. Final of a matchroom promoted tournament, the majors in the game. Moved up on the wrong end against an opponent of this quality. Not quite as close as it's been from in the last couple of rounds. Breaking runs already for Francisco Sanchez Ruiz in this match. In between, Jason Shaw, Jason Shaw scratched Shaw's off break. his break. Trailing and the Spaniard ran out from that as minutes, well. Sorry. So the Scot is now breaking at 3 0 down. I don't think it was intentional, but he did switch sides, I think. But he, he took a hair of speed off, it seemed like. Now a dry break and again just like the first match, but nothing going too easily for Jason Shaw at the moment. Big match going on over on the other table. Oi against Alex Pagalion. Remember, it's all about getting into the top four. Well at the moment, Oi is fourth and Pagalion is fifth. Pagalion leading two one there, having just won the third rack. That he'll go level on wins with Oi. Could potentially, if he wins by a big margin, move above him on the rack's difference. Okay. Looks like a safety coming, falling a little short with position, coming up behind the purple. And that's another sign of, of why Ruiz is 
done so well. Just that shot right there, not taking a shot off, meaning getting the most out of that little play there on the safety, not just rolling behind the verbal casually, making sure he gets stuck right Pasha. up on it. Ball in hand. Try going some four rails around the table there and not hit another ball. Was it only four? It felt like about 20. Start the clock, please. But a lot of players, when they miss position on a shot like that, get a little frustration, maybe not as much focus on the safety, and you could see how valuable that was uh, really getting the most out of that safety, making Jason come with a very good kick shot. Almost overran here, but he's going to end up perfect. The six does go by the nine, so easy position on the five. Did have an extraordinary second phase. Nine matches. Bear in mind, against really good players who had played well enough to get through to that stage, and he won eight of them. Who would have thought that was... Ever on the cards. Ball hold. near the rail. So reliable, so dependable, and so close to another win. It's 4 0. Into the fourth rack on the other table, Alex Pagalion. 2 1 up on Naoki Oi. As I've said, Pagalion will go level on wins. With Oi, if he wins that, he'll also be level with Pelovanovic and Shaw. So that would mean we'd have four players on 16. Yusishin looks to be slipping out of it now, so with Sanchez Ruiz through, it's basically three from four and so tight between them. Follow the table to action at any stage, as throughout the whole event, Matchroom Multisport YouTube is the place you can do just five, that. Five. Francisco Sanchez race to break <coughs> on the hill. Yeah, and now Ruiz with three breaks to win this match. You kind of figure he'll probably do it here. they will just get so many shots after the break. Not a shot here, though. It may have a little piece of the two, but the six there, kind of hard to move the cue ball, get some separation. Might see a push out here. the six edging the two can't apply a lot of side spin here and I'd like to creep the cue ball two rails towards the seven eight does he have enough of it to go for a cross corner bank it's kind of what he's sizing up but the angle to me the bank's definitely playable if he's shooting at it, but can he really hold the cue ball behind the six is what he was kind of surveying. Okay. Definitely played a two-way. More of the safety in mind than really making the bank. First ball, he's potted. I think it is. Yes, it is. And this is, of course, day eight. But easy for these races to five, right? To have a little frustration set in. Much easier than a race to nine. bit short here.
seemed to be walking around in a strange sort of demeanour there. I know he's a very laid-back guy, but for him, he was almost mentally half withdrawn <laughs> there. And that's what I was kind of talking about in these races to five. It doesn't take much to feel like things are against you. And more than anything, it's just got to recognize that FSR is playing incredible and things are rolling for him as well. Meaning he's breaking great, of course, but still coming away with a lot of shots and that doesn't have to happen. But you've got to buy your time. And even for all that good stuff he's done over the last week in Leicester, he hasn't won a match 5-0 until now. Francisco Sanchez Ruiz, thoroughly dominant from start to finish. He's beaten Jason Shaw by five racks to nil. And next up on the main table, Konrad Yusashin and Sandian Pelovanovic in about five minutes from now. table diamond tables are designed and manufactured from the highest quality sustainable hardwoods utilizing world-renowned designs diamond tables are unparalleled for playability and durability after all they are designed by players for players
championship is being played with the new RMS tournament set. Featuring a unique molecular structure, it guarantees razor-sharp precision and unsurpassed longevity. Unquestionably the best pool balls in the world, this set is available in a TV and a value pack version, as well as in the new My RMF range of ball and Q cases. Now you can bring and play with the best ball set everywhere you go. My RMF, bringing new dimensions to your billiards experience. Of the Kazoo, champion of champions! Just a bit more of FSR doing FSR things. Completely dominant against Jason Shaw. It's the first match that the Spaniard has won without losing a rack in this tournament. We can find out what he has to say about it now. He's with JJ. Good shooting, Francisco. And it Thanks. seems by our math, your first win over Oi got you into the semis. But no letting up there against Jason Shaw also. Yeah, I mean, I think that the first match was so important for me because I guaranteed to the last four, but I feel good on the table, you know. I tried, I think I have three matches left, so I, th I think I'm, I'm going to prepare this match. I, I want to feel, to continue to feel good in the semifinal, so let's do what happen. Yeah, absolutely. A great game plan. It seems like you're getting stronger every day. Yeah, I mean, really good. The first, the first two days, I don't, I don't feel so good, to be honest. But now I feel this, about the speed of the table, the break, I feel really good. But everything can happen because it's race to five. Now it's going to be race to seven. So let's see. Yeah, well, good luck and good shooting. Thank you. Good shooting indeed. That's what he's been doing. More and more as the tournament's gone on, as he said himself. He wasn't feeling great when he got here a week ago. Jet lag, a bit of a head cold. But he's shaken all of that off now and is just playing so well. That was his seventh win in a row. And if he wins his next match against Sanyam Pelovanovic, he will definitely go through in first place. So Nayuki Oi is in action at the moment against Alex Pagalion. It's always third straight match. He's won one and lost one, and he's trailing at the moment to Pagalion, 3-2, but Oi is at the table with a chance to level. Oi fourth on the table, Pagalion fifth. So you don't need me to tell you how important that match is as they battle for places in the top four and therefore the semi-finals. A couple of hill-hill defeats for Konrad Yusushin. We're going to see him again next against Pelovanovic. Thank you. Have a good game. Have a good game. JJ has done a sprint back to the commentary box. Now I think Yusushin can just about still get through. But quite definitely, with three matches left, he's going to have to win them all. And then need a few other things to fall his way. Yeah, a couple of close and unfortunate losses for Conrad this morning. And I'll ask you to lag again. Very close. Two guys that are pressing, for sure. Sanjin, who led this event for many days, 
out of the seven plus we've played and but uh, things have not gone his way the last few days and of course <laughs> I think he just needs a couple wins to kind of guarantee himself into that final four but no it's you <laughs> you can kind of feel the players pressing a little bit yeah, nothing wrong with the quality of lagging. The first rack. First one was declared a dead break. heat. Second one was pretty close as well. But Yusushin is declared the winner, and he starts us off. Now there, compared to Ruiz, did get the cue ball below the nine, but he's not really making that arc back towards the center of the table. So going to have to look for a little bit of a roll when the cue ball is behind so many balls to try and come clear with a shot. I don't think it happened here. Push out, Gold. Yeah, he wants to clear the cueing a little bit for what may be a piece of the two. to tie things up on Sanchez Ruiz. I said that was his seventh win in a row. Another way of looking at it is it's his 11th win in the last 12 matches. The only defeat was against the now eliminated Skylar Woodward. He missed out Rack's difference. Yeah, and the number one ranked player in the world doing something like that is incredible, even though he's the top player at the moment. So that just tells you what Sanjin, you know how incredible his run was to start this event. Not sure what he's playing here. Obviously some type of safety, but that's been the thing for him the last couple of days is the under hit on the ball. I've seen it many times. Sometimes if you have a little bit of a faster tempo, the backswing can get a little too fast and it causes you just a hair of a let up. It's not really a D cell as much, but not just a full blown acceleration. Oh, bad miss for him, especially how good he is on the long pot. Didn't even threaten the pocket. Having just spoken about the great winning run of FSR, Televanovic is going the other way. He's now lost all of his last four matches. Yeah, and I think he's got to put a little speed here, pushing through on the nine, not to get on top of the two. Or excuse me, the three. That's going to work. Six nine is glued together near the seven. <laughs> Had an amazing first phase. Actually lost his first match round about this time last week against Skylar Woodward. But then through the rest of that opening stage, he won 13 of his next 14 matches. Through to the weekend in first place. Yeah, and I'm curious what his game plan is here with this cluster of the 6-9 with the 7 hanging. Didn't get much angle there. So getting underneath the 7, maybe a kiss shot, but that's an awkward one. Now, if he can get below to where he can play the kiss shot with a little speed, I don't like the soft kiss shot shooting out of the pocket once the seven falls. If he can get below it to where he can play it with some speed, maybe get the cue ball running off the seven. Of course, he's got to knock the five in first. But yeah, we'll see. I think he is going to play it with some speed, maybe a low right English, trying to draw off the seven, getting the cue ball to escape that, that corner pocket, letting the six go up towards the upper right. You know, like that. But the thing is, you just never know how they're going to contact exactly. And now I think he does have a cross side bank, but it's got to be hit well. It's not totally natural. Extension code.
And really, FSR can do Sanjin a lot of favors, right? Taking a little pressure off. They did already beat Jason Shaw. Nice shot there. Kiyoi is breaking on the hill on table two. It's Alex Pagalayan, 4 3. Here, Sandian Pelovanovic takes the opener. Sanyin he needs Konrad Ushashin 1 0. <laughs> well, Oi has broken dry in that eighth rack against Paga Lion. If Oi wins that, he'll climb to second in the table. Since he'd be top of the other table because Sanchez Ruiz is just basically playing his own tournament at the moment. And then it's a battle between the rest of them to join them in the semis. Yeah, Ruiz at an 80% clip so far, I think, roughly. Just a hair under that. It's won 20 out of 26 matches. Second rack, Sonia Ivanovic to break. On that one ball. Leading by one rack to no. So still alive, it looks like. Things are looking up for Sanyam Pelovanovic. Great first phase. Since then, he's caught an increasingly dejected figure as his fortunes have headed south. But this will make him feel a lot better. Yeah, absolutely. The three coming a couple rails and kicking the nine in the side. And you never want to be behind in a match, but at least here on day eight, two leads for Conrad hadn't produced anything just yet, so you never know. Isn't it? It's a lot of luck involved. You've got to break the ball as well, but you need a lot of good fortune to make the nine. And yeah, it just gives you this big lift, even more so than perhaps pulling off a really good shot by design. Yeah, and if anyone in the field the last few days Don't needs a, a smile on their Conor face, uh, it, it's probably saying by two racks to I think just from his demeanor, he looks as though he's been unduly hard on himself because he did so well in the first phase and just raised his own expectations with what he was doing. Remember, he's still in a great position in this tournament that he would really have settled for had he been offered at this time last week. Yeah, absolutely. And you know as well as I do, and it seems like you're never you never get upset, Michael. Oh, cool. Oh, I don't know. Cool's a cucumber, <laughs> but you know, when you're short on sleep, you know, you've had such a schedule, you're not sleeping how you want, you're waking up early, you know, the first several days he said he was told me he was waking up at three and four in the morning and you know, the youngsters are used to sleeping well. That's just how nature goes, right? And so you can get a little agitated behind that. Now he's got to play a nice shot from the three to the four to get back to the five. That's the real work in the rack. And there are some obstacles out there, with the seven, eight. Keep, got to keep the cue ball off the rail here in a moment. Breaking news from table two. Noyuki Oi has given up ball in hand to Alex Pagalayan, who's at the table with a chance to make that four all. And he would have the break in the deciding rack. And that would be arguably the most significant rack we've seen in the whole tournament so far, because that is a huge match in terms of getting through. Yeah, and what these early matches do is Ruiz has put himself in a position from prior days to where the early matches got him through quickly. But for the other players, it just sets you up to get through in a better position and and maybe puts a lot more in your hands than rather maybe you're, you know, you're holding some pom-poms later in, in the day cheering for someone else. 
holding some oh some pom poms oh like a cheerleader yeah, yeah. Not sure I can see any of the players doing that, but who knows what this Monday might bring. Or if there were any in the building, you never know. Well, there's a basketball team based here, so fair chance there are. We'll go and have a route around later. Well, he got on that position on the four in a nice manner, made things easy coming down for the five. All things staying true, he should extend his lead. <laughs> Hagelion looks to have done the hard work in rack eight on the other table. Fairly routine run out from the six. Make it four all against Noyuki Oi. So the golden break gave Pelovanovic a 2-0 lead. The dry break from Yusushin gave the young man from Bosnia and Herzegovina the chance to go 3-0. And that is exactly what he has done. Pelovanovic wins the rock. After losing all of his last four Sanyan matches, a win here would do wonders for the chances and indeed the morale of Sanyan Pelovanovic. He's going the right way at the moment. He leads 3-0. Peg a line at the table on table number two. I believe it's a break and run producing there, which we rarely see in that position of Hill Hill. Pelovanovic running maybe a little bit better. The cue ball was going to get lost there in the corner, but a nice kiss to keep it on the playing surface.
Pagalaya now just four balls away from beating Noyuki Oi. Does we will then have four players on 16. Push out, Gold. He looks to be developing into those four battling for three places. Sanchez Ruiz is through. Conrad Yusashin looks to be slipping out of things. Back Went into this one knowing he needed to win it. And his two remaining matches later in the day and then hope for the best in terms of other results. Yeah, and Oi, who started the day with a nice win. It's like he's going to lose two matches in a row here. So maybe good that he's going to go into the break now. He won't play anymore, I don't think, anyways. Yeah, he won't be playing again till around about 6 o'clock this evening. Agalion, on the other hand, will be straight back out there to face Jason Shaw, and he'll go in. Five rounds. Back of a really good start to the day. That's two matches, two Hill Hill finishes, and two Hill Hill wins on this Monday for the former world champion from Canada. It looks like after a nice safety shot from Sanjin, and really surprised that Conrad passed on the push out. Escape of the cue ball there, so he's going to be awkwardly cueing. Get the sense if Pelovanovic does get through to the semi finals, he'll rather have stumbled over the line and he'll be there largely because of what he did in the first phase. But he would still have to go in feeling very positive about things. Remind himself, he doesn't expect it even to get to the semis if he does make it that far. And once you're at that stage, it's only a race to seven, anything can happen. Been a little too much of the hangdog expression about him for his own good over the last couple of days. He's in a great position, and this match going the way it is, it's a position which could be about to get even better. And Conrad looks like it's uh, heading in the bad direction overall, but he also had a great start to this event. Spun off many wins. Extension yeah, code. he won all of his first four, but then once he had suffered a defeat, he ended up losing four in a row, and he's been very streaky like that throughout the whole tournament. It's a bad streak at the moment. He's lost seven of his last eight. And what Sanjin, of course, Trying to get a win put back on the board and just trying to get into his groove for the day. It's going to be a long day for most likely the young man from Bosnia Herzegovina. Oh, this is going to flirt towards the rail a little bit. Oh, he's going to cue over the side, so he should be all right. If he levels out here, a lot of players elevate the cue and really want to hit more of a center ball on a shot like this. Well, what a tonic this is for Sanyan Pelovanovic. Things have been going against him for the last 24 hours or so since his last win against Skylar Woodward early in Sunday's play. Now he's leading 4-0 here. And look at the table, Jeremy. He's on plus 22 racks difference. If he wins this 5-0, he'll 
then it's plus 27. Now that's 10 better than any of the other guys who are on 16 wins. And as we've said all along, if you can have a significant advantage in terms of Rack's difference, it's almost like an extra point on the board. Yeah, absolutely. And could come down to that as well. Rack five. If it gets to seven. One of just just break trailing by four racks to the players have to play each other. I kind of feel like. 17 might get him in with that type of rack differential, but there's still so much more to, to kind of unfold here with the matches. And now a good look after the break, trailing 4 0. Going to start. It's got to start now. Well, that was the mark last year 17, and then it came down to rack's difference. Last year was the first year we had this format, so I guess that's the only past experience we have to go on. Yeah, this may need to slow down a little bit. I was wondering about that shot. It could get a little awkward coming out of the pocket. I think he does have the edge needed to cut it in, but a little thinner than he liked. See if he plays two rails or three. Oh, this might be near the nine here. It's going to be very awkward as well. And you can see done that a couple times after the dry break. He kind of gave that hand gesture like this is just how I'm rolling today. He could still have a big say in who goes through because he plays the last match of the round robin phase on the main table against Naoki Oi, who's fourth at the moment. And that could be the match which decides the final completion of the semi final lineup. But as I was talking there, he's missed the six, and that may well be the end of this. Yeah, the way I'm looking at it, this is Conrad's third match. He only plays two more. The best he can get to is 15 and oh yeah he's out if he loses this yeah that's what I got at least a, just a quick look well this could be really significant for Pelovanovic as we've said things haven't been going his way he came into this one on the back of four straight defeats Conrad Yusashin still has a couple of matches to go so we'll see him a lap of honor, I suppose, later this evening, because bottom line is it's still been a good tournament for him to get to the final six. But this one looks as though it's going Pelovanovic's way. And Conrad still has prize money to play for. That fifth position definitely pays more than the sixth position. And he's a very prideful player as well. So I think he's going to give 100% later. For sure. He'd need a lot to go his way, even to climb to fifth, but I know what you're saying. There's always some level of motivation. But it's a different story now for Pelovanovic. He's got so much more to play for. This could be a really significant win. And the scale of it as well could also have a big say in whether or not he gets through. Sanyan Pelovanovic beats Konrad Yushashin by five racks to nil, and he'll be back on the table in a few minutes' time to play FSR.
156 Opals go into action over six days. When an irresistible force meets an immovable object, something is got to give, but nothing is given yet. Final of a matchroom promoted tournament, the majors in the game. against an opponent of this quality. Not quite as close as it's been for him in the last couple of rounds. are designed and manufactured from the highest quality, sustainable hardwoods, utilizing world-renowned designs. Diamond tables are unparalleled for playability and durability. After all, they are designed by players for players. Championship is being played with the new RMS tournament set. Featuring a unique molecular structure, it guarantees razor sharp precision and unsurpassed longevity. Unquestionably the best pool balls in the world, this set is available in a TV and a value pack version, as well as in the new My RMF Ranger of Ball and Q cases. Now you can bring and play with the best ball set everywhere you go. My RMF, bringing new dimensions to your billiards experience. Of the Kazoo Champion of Champions! It's time for a little bit of damage down back this is finals day here in Leicester the Premier League pool just six players remain Sanjan Pilovanovic well he was our league leader for a good few days he was going along nicely as he beats Conrad Yushishun five racks to zero that is our league table forget Skylar Woodward he's not in sixth place it's actually Conrad Yushishun so there's a slight mistake there, but top of the table, world number one, world nine ball champion, Ruiz sits at the top. And there's quite a few players on 16 points. Things are going to get interesting.
This is table two, order of play. Just the one game left they have started. It's currently one apiece between Shaw and Pagalion. We will keep you updated and switch across. Join our match here on table one. One game to go. Pelovanovic. Back-to-back -back matches, he's going to be feeling good now because he's had a bit of a rocky roll. He's going to play the world number one, Ruiz, coming up right now. Okay. FSR, Sanji Peglivanovic, last match of this afternoon's session on table one. Uh, for the thrill of the viewers and fans, it's a good thing that FSR is playing near flawless pool and winning his matches and that used to say it Conrad, Conrad but that he lost all three matches because that means the that all those players Francisco in the middle Shaw, Oi and Peggy Lyon are real close and tight shape on the two ball again but that's just the quality of his break he makes balls and he controls the cue ball and in the middle of the table it's most likely to have a subsequent shot yeah he's the player that stands out so we've really figured out the break this week so consistent at putting the one in the side pocket i'm gonna ask the cue ball below the stack i'm sure you've, if you've been watching all week you'll have seen Ruiz's break shot, and he's not wasting any time here. Let's say, let's assume that FSR keeps on winning and that Yushishin keeps on losing. Could be that the three 16-point players will get to 17 and join Peglivanovic there. Let's see, let's see. But I would wager Francisco Sanchez race wins the, the end rock. of the round robin format will come down to a wreck difference. Now every wreck counting, even if you lose, try to win 5-3 instead of 5-2. It could make the difference. Yushishin has lost two Hill Hill matches. He lost the first against Shaw in a good fight, but losing 5-4 against Pegaline and then couldn't stop the rot anymore. 5-0 loss Second against Pegalinovic. Trailing by one rock to no. Looked the pole like accepting his fate. Not a guarantee, Alex, potting that one in the side, is it? It's just the fact that we've been here over a week now. Players are dialed in. So players are going close. But here's another look. Watch where the yellow one ball goes. It's the near jaw of the side and stays dry. Now, if... Like a half ball hit, three quarter ball hit on the one ball. No, it's thinner. Half ball hit. If there's no scratch, cue ball low left, then he can play this. Then the four, six, and nine to block the one. Hmm. So that tells me he couldn't roll that ball. He's a little bit lucky how this all worked out. Didn't look too smooth. And does FSR go for the straight back bank? Or play the one, two rails towards the four and hold the cue ball up table? 
Yeah, trick with jumping is first to be able to jump, get that ball over, but stand still, stay in position. If you watch the top players, the better jumps, the players that are good jumpers, they don't move. Yeah, that's a good pot, taking a gamble. Paid off. He's got to look at the blue two. Difficult shot this for Sanjin. Difficult bridging. Let me see how much pressure there will be on his okay. front hand. Well, he looks okay. Station code. Don't get into it too much. Low left, medium speed. Yeah, big area to land here. Just make sure to stay away from the long rail on the left. Could choose with the slight angle to play stun draw off the eight ball if he bumps that eight ball half a diamond to the right. Yeah, there it's in a better position. Not that he needed to, but it, it was free. Something you'd see the great Efren Reyes do a lot. Bump here and a bump there, and all of a sudden, difficult table has become an easy wreck. Bit of grinning in between shots, scratching his <laughs> his head. The goat, Evan Reyes. Big big match over on table two. That started out. Pagalion, he's playing sure. Both players sit on 16 points. Nayukyo, he's also on 16 points. Pilovanovic on 17. Ruiz comfortably on 20 points. Yeah, what what's going for Alex Pagalion is that he has played better by the day. And I'm not talking leaps and lumps. Yeah. Just Every day, a couple of percent better. And the amount the of matches, the quantity of pool that he's required to play, no problem for the senior of this group of players. He's used to play long, grueling challenge matches in the US of A. For me, he's, he's turning into a favorite for the title. Also because he, he's breaking good. FSR won the lag and that's big in a the race to rack. five. Get Francisco the roll, Sanchez first race blood, to break. And if it Come goes down to Hill, Hill. First chance at the table.
shape on the two. I hope Shaw isn't watching from table <laughs> table two. Yeah, the little window there in between the four and nine opens up. We were sat upstairs having a bit of lunch with Jason, and uh, to say he was a little hot-headed, hot-headed, would be an oh. understatement. But he also gets a shot on the two. You can do it as well, Jason. It's not just everybody else. Ooh. Ooh. His worst shot of the past two yeah. days. Uh, no, he missed a big nine yesterday. Still ended up winning that match. Yeah, cue ball was on the rail. Just pushed it into the long one. He'd be disappointed. But it's been a long week. of zip on the cue ball if the world number one misses an open shot like that you need to pound you need to punish just in time the cue ball Close to the six, can just roll it in. Well, if he has that angle to track the cue ball towards center table, come up a little higher, it won't be a problem. If it's as straight as, as it seems to be, then he needs to run into the six. Wasn't so much hampered that he couldn't play this with speed. Well done. Drop the five and then the six, seven and eight to the same pocket. No. Considered playing the six to the top pocket. He's hitting the ball good, Sanjin. Five zero win over Yushishin right before this match helped. Sanjin goes on to beat FSR for his own pointage, but also to hurt FSR. FSR has been on a, on a tear yesterday, unbeaten. Give the man a reality check. Methodical, that's the way Sanjin Extension code. plays the game, keeps wiping his cue down. Unusual for a player to keep wiping the cue down, Alex, when they wear a glove. Don't really understand that. Well, it's his reset. Oh, OK, so he's not doing it because the cue's sticky. It's just, no. it's just his way of settling down before pulling the trigger. Like some players will take a sip of water. Nice out, clinical, as he should be, come this phase of the tournament, and that miss of FSR, to win the lead for Sanjin.
plenty of action going on here in Leicester, the morning side arena. This is table one action. This is between the man who sits at the top of the table, Sanjin, sits in second place. Ruiz on 20 points, the man breaking on 17. However, on table two, Shaw's playing Pagalion. Both have played 26 matches, both on 16 points. Remember, the top four advance into tonight's semi-finals. <laughs> that score is currently 4-3 to Shaw. Big, big moments coming up on table two. So where to go to with the cue ball? Meh. Yeah. Yeah. Push out for a jump. A win or lose jump. It's not, Push out not my cold. cup of tea. It's a bit too all in. Like in poker. If you have two players. That's two cool. Final table. Yeah. The weaker player is more likely to go all in. Alex, you're just old school, buddy. That's all. Old school. Welcome to 2023. The do you do you want to give your opponent a chance to win the wreck with one Extension shot? Code. I'm old school as well, Alex. I'm just, you know, it's not really for me, this. It's a bit like, well, either you make it or I'm going to. The thing is, we know... Sanchez is going to go close. He's, he's, this is not like he's going to miss this by a week. He'll go close. Well, he missed it by a week. Maybe two weeks. That was not a good effort at all. And look at this. The world number one. It is your year. Yeah, threw the shoulder in. We spoke about how big this match was on table two. Shaw's got a chance to win a big, big point. Remember, Alex and Jason are both on 16 points. That looks like it's going to be good enough for Jason. Tom Watt, unfortunate Peggy Lyon. He broke on 3 3. Kubel got kicked in. 4 3 Jason for Shaw. Sure and off Five of his own break, three. the Scotsman wins 5-3 and joins Peg Livanovic on 17 in the table. Can't complain there. A little shake of the head. Maybe acknowledging his own run of the ball. Because this is run of the ball. Now what's the route? I see one rail off of the short row with stun and check. Good call by Miss Bozilova. Some of Peglivanovic's cues nice fell over. It. She stopped the clock. So one rail. I'm looking at two, but then the six balls big, maybe three rails. Short, long, long. <coughs> yeah, he's playing the first goal, stun and check. Good hit. Nice. Now. FSR can bank the three ball, cross side, and play for a 4-8 combination. He's looking at that. Or chip the three ball to the top rail, play containing safety. Huh. Becoming a little wild. Yeah, he made the ball. But a lot of shoulder. You see? Three strokes now. The jump, this bank, and the missed bank on the four. 
where he doesn't show good form. Yeah, I mean, I'm used it's to seeing him code. front cue like that. I'm not saying every shot, but that is... Yeah, that's his style. Yeah, well... Just makes me more interested to see what happens in the next 10 minutes. And of course, every player, even Sanchez Ruiz, the world number one, concentration goes and energy go up and down. If you see where the cue ball ended up, only Sanjin knows if he would play the shot in the same way another time. Now let's see if he makes this clean. He'll make it, I'm sure. Yeah, I spoke about that yesterday, how often FSR shots with that angle going clean. Francisco Sanchez Ruiz wins the rack. Well, it was a rack with mistakes from both players. Ruiz. Well, he's looked good, hasn't he, here this week? Coming from Vegas, Las Vegas. Looked a little tired on the opening two or three days, and then once he's got over the jet lag, he's kind of kicked into gear. And he's looking good. And we've got a surprise guest. Eagle Eye Jason Shaw has just walked in the booth, fresh off a victory over Pagalaya and where? To break. To the run of the ball, buddy. Yeah, not bad. Um, just a few rows there. He got unlucky, though. He was, should have been up to zero. He got a skid on the seven. It didn't really skid, it jumped. And, uh, yeah. Hope to catch another few rolls. Yeah, did you get shots after the break? Couple, I got lucky though. Cue ball was all over the place. Come across, kicked like two balls, landed in straight <laughs> in on the two a couple of times. Well, the thing is, it was a big match because you and Alex was both on 16 points. So that's just give you a little bit of breathing space. You're done for the afternoon. Obviously, that was the last match on table two. You will open up tonight's play Shall back to back go. matches. on table one. Yeah, just, you know, nice to get another win. Um, but yeah, just, I don't know, the break's all fickle, isn't it? You can break good and don't get a shot and can kind of break, you know, not so good. I think Alex broke one of the racks there on the cue ball. Kind of came low and hit like three rails and come round landed straight into. So. Jason, just one word of advice. You are a decent poker player. Approach it like a poker game. You can't control the cards that you are dealt. Mm -hmm. Right? Yeah. And then you have those cards and from there you're trying to limit damage or inflict yep. as much as you can. Listen to your captain, former captain. Wise it's words there from Mr. Laley. Now, the type of shot that you thump in with the regularity, Jason? Yeah, I think he's just got to cue this one, stay down. Push through the ball, don't jump up. Yep, in the middle of the pocket. Good shot. So, how many if I played 27 or 26? You've played 27. That screen that you're looking at is yet to be updated. So you're on 17 points, tied with Sanjin. That gives you a bit of breathing space. <coughs> Two players below you okay. are on 16 points. So you're looking all right going into tonight. 
Working hard, Big Ivanovic. What happened? To shape to just go forward off of the four. What happened? Um, the two one. I seen Sanchez was at the table before I came down. He had a three ball like a bank. Did he play safe? Oh uh, wait, FSR missed the bank and then left a long four. Okay. Like a half ball cut and Sanjin overcut that ball. You give some, you take some. Most important. To keep your cool when things aren't going your way. Yeah, in that match there, I, I broke and didn't make anything in the second rack. And then after that, I just kind of tried to, you know. Oh, yeah, but I was keep, talking about Sanjin. Yeah, but even my match, I was still trying to keep my head a little bit, even though I was, should have been down 2-0. Alex has been playing well the full event, though. Yeah, the nice thing, what I like about him in this event, I told Carl Boyce that he's playing every day, he's playing 5% better. Yeah, he's, um, I think some of the shots that he ducked early in the week, he started taking on and making them. But he's definitely uh, improved every day since he's been here. He's a true grinder, Alex is. <laughs> well, I don't think he's just improved here, I think he's improved in the last 12 months really you know he, he he's one of the legends of the sport and recently he's been getting some pretty high finishes and some big wins Sonia the rack. wins rack number five three two Ruiz has done enough hasn't he he's he's safely through and 20 yeah. points but still wants to keep that confidence and momentum five out of five matches yesterday doesn't want to start losing its sharpness yeah only six losses in 26 matches that's strong that very strong would you count this Jason as a breakthrough Rock tournament six. for Sanji, even break. though we're not to the semifinals yet, to considering how he has uh, produced and performed this week. Um, I don't know breakthrough because he's done he's done quite well in some of the matchroom events recently. Not like last 16, but he's been down there in the last 32s, and you know he's beat some big names. Everybody knows he's improving and how well he played. Um, I think more people that's not seen him will be um, aware aware of who he is now. And um, yeah, this will give him a lot of confidence going forward. I think uh, just before this event, he came off the back of a final defeat yeah. to in the Las Vegas Zelensky. Yeah. So yeah, um, he obviously come in here with a little bit of confidence. And it's shown this week, he's definitely upped his game and uh, showing everyone what he has. Push out code. I told boys off air that I find him a bit Selby-esque. The Back jester from Leicester, Senate. maybe if he goes on to win this tournament, we, we can baptize him as such. Yeah, although he doesn't look very funny, does he? So I'm not sure about yeah, the jester. Nor does, <laughs> nor does Selby. <laughs> so he's gonna take this on, try and make the one and try and draw in between the seven and the four here. Extension code. If he hits the seven, he might still have a shot. He wants to get between. Nice. Just like that, he used the oh. seven to get there. He needs it to slow down, and he's good. Well, he might not be, but he just jump cut the one ball in. And I think this is not a full ball snooker, so. Does it need to elevate too so much? high? Oh, another one coming. Go on, get behind the six. Let's see three on the spin. Oh, you're being very kind, are you? Well, I don't like the jump shot, Alex. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, it was a good jump shot, just a little bit unlucky. I was hoping it went a little bit further. I'd like to see three on the spin, but he won't be jumping this one. Now, the upside of this hook behind the six is that the four and the cue ball are approximately the same distance from the long rail. That makes it easier to feel where to hit. 
Now is the five ball going to come? Five ball? Legs? No, no legs. And you'll be, be extremely disappointed there after making two good jump shots and we can see it was a little bit of a bad break, but that's the game. Yeah. And we know it's coming, so that one will hurt. That was to get to the hill and... Okay, if if I, if I you ask me to scrutinize, yeah, uh, on the three, he was only partially blocked. I think he hit it with a lot of speed and a lot of elevation, so he lost the cue ball more than, you know, he could have. Yeah, I, w I was surprised it was that steep because it was only a half half a ball. Yeah. So you don't have to really get up in the air. It's only you're only jumping over half of it. So I agree with you there. I think he could have been a little bit less jacked up, and he probably would have controlled the cue ball a little bit. He might have run into the six actually. Yeah. Well, that's all in hindsight. From Sanji's kick shot, FSR are now two shots away from level three apiece. There it is. This is the final match of the afternoon session. It's between the top two players in the league. We're tied at 3-3. Three, three. Rack seven, Francisco Sanchez race to break. Three racks each. Two ball bouncing up. Not easy this. He'll be awkward over the nine. Yeah, I'd still rather still rather be over the nine than behind it. True. Let's focus on the positives. Yeah, yeah, but it's true. Jacked up is not a really tough shot here. He only has to come out past yeah, the nine. On the low side? Yes, on the low side, not high. You can't spin it that way. I think this is a bit thinner in the side than you, you're letting on. Maybe not. Perfect. Good it's a call, bit Jason. short, is it? No, he's OK. Good speed. I mm. wonder if he can draw this ball and just kind of arc it round the nine a little bit. Or soft draw. Stay on this side of the nine, off of the nine. Um, yeah, maybe try and draw into it a little bit more for Alex. Yeah. Extension code. Good stroke. Wants a little bounce. Mm. Just going to take his medicine here and run through and shoot the six ball to the top left pocket. Nice. Easy to decelerate on that shot. Yeah, it's a very underrated shot. It looks easy because he's landed perfect, but 
Gone in a little thick. I mean, it should always go in on that ball table, but he's lost the cue ball to a degree. Well, should always go in. Depends on the exact cut of the pockets. We played the Moscone Cup in December. I'm sure this ball wouldn't have dropped on that table. Yeah, I don't think so. I think I don't even think it would have jawed. But the thing is, you play with the cards that you are dealt with. Yep. I like the shot on the five ball, though. You, you got a little bit off the rail, too, to give yourself good good shape to get up for the seven. Exactly. Just FSR just does switch. what FSR has Wins been doing for 15 rock. months. Solid and robust under pressure. Keeping the heat on, Sanjin. You said the other table's done? The other table's done for today? Yeah, you was the last match on there. OK. You will open, open up proceedings tonight, back-to-back -to -back matches. I think you start off... Sanjin. Yes, yeah, Sanjin. Jason's playing Sanjin and then Nayuki Oi. I'd be happy to make the top four right now and stay in the same position I'm at, number three. Well, you made the top four last year. You finished fourth after all the matches on 17 Sanyan points. So, break, trailing by four rocks to three. consistent in this event, Jason. But top three, why would you say that? Ha so does it have anything to do with FSR? Well, I can play Sanjin instead of... Then I can play SFR on the final if he gets there. Oh, you want revenge on FSR in the final? I can see. We've already told the fans listening. Give you a ride over to the venue this morning. You never said a word. You had your music on. That was you done. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> one, one last, uh, one last push. What was you listening to on the way here? Conor McGregor. <laughs> mm. I still got it on my phone right now. What the entrance? Motivational speeches. Oh, I from like him. It. Yeah. Oh, okay, there you go. So for how much does he sell that? <laughs> no, it's just on YouTube. You yeah. can go on there Push and he's talking about his life and, you know, if he's not playing pool or fighting, should I say, he's yeah. thinking about it, you know. Yeah. And I think that's the same way in pool. You know, if you're a pool player, you're always kind of thinking about it. Well, you're rather not, but it's difficult not to. Yeah, but it's it's part of that's what you it's all of you course. know, right? It's you all you know. Into the arena, it's very alike martial arts. Is that just that you don't hurt someone with your cue physically? Well, sometimes you would like to. So it's time. The umpteenth push for a, a jump by Sanjin. This is a li little bit of distance from this one. Now he'll try and make it, but I would, playing this jump, still believe in a potential safety when I miss. He could scratch also off the eight, if possible. Oh, wow. wow. He nailed it. Beautiful shot. It's a nice thing to have if you get r a reputation to be a good jumper. More and more, like a strong rep reputation, that people are going to have difficulty. You can lure them into taking a push out on when they don't want to because they just don't want to give it back. Yeah, and in this day there's there's many good jumpers at the ball and extension code. I think now when someone pushes out to a jump the other player just comes to the table with a cue, you know, eighty percent of the time. Nice. Oh yeah, played it nice. With conviction. Yeah, I think, um, like you said there, the jump shot's become a little bit more different now because if you know the guy's going to come and take it, you might take on a difficult push-out, put it somewhere, you know, that you might end up in trouble. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is a good out. I'm thinking back about this match against you. Sunjin, he was uh, losing 4-0. Got to 4-4, four, four. you misplayed that oh, uh, push out a little bit. You left the three ball. You, you tried to tie it up. I tried to tie it up, but the cue ball pulled to the right a little bit, which made me cut the seven the yeah. out yeah. to the left well. instead of straight into the three. But still, it was a tough layout. It was a very steely and cool run out by Sanjin from there. <laughs> 
Yeah, I watched it back. He kind of overcut the two a little bit, hit the bottom of the nine, and then he played a good kick shot after that on the three, and then came with a good six ball. But I think it was four three. He came with a hell of a shot on the two ball. The, oh, the cut. The yeah, two ball was over here at the first time, the and the cue ball was at the side, yeah. and he cut it in and went three or four yeah. rails back across the middle yeah, of the, the table. Yeah, the thing what helped him there, for the people that remember which shot that was, the thing that helped him, there was no safety. So there was no alternative. It was all systems go. Okay. When I first seen him go down to the ball, I thought he was going to bank the ball. Mm -hmm. When I seen him line it up, I thought he's cutting it. I was actually happy he was going to cut it because <laughs> it wasn't easy. No, 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 it was a great and, shot. Uh, yeah, he nailed it, so fair play to him on that match. He played really well to come back. One more. And as he's doing now, he's coming back well again. He's put himself on the hill. Okay. And these little chats give you an insight into <laughs> a player's brain, and it shows you, apart from the enormous amount of matches that they have to play away from those matches jason shaw is watching matches back sitting in the lobby thinking about a shot lying in bed thinking about a shot yeah i've been going every night i go back to the room i watch my matches you know see where i'm breaking from can i break from somewhere different could i hit it a little bit different or if i played a bad shot can i do something different that doesn't come up again so I think it's important to watch your matches back and see where you're going wrong and the next time correct it. The deciding rock. Well, Francisco Sanchez. There's an insight break. from the mind of Jason Shaw. FSR to break Hill Hill. This is the last rack of the afternoon session. Sweet it is. You must be doing something right. Well, well, well. Wouldn't you like this rack? To steal the match. Six balls to key shot, come across for the seven, but the five is in a good position. He can prepare his angle on the six nicely without too much work can still choose but I expect him to go top side of the seven yeah top side he can't really clip the eight if he hits it you know comes below it this way he's always going to come above the eight. Yeah. Was a nice open table. And it stays a nice table as he's putting the cue ball in the perfect position on each and every shot. The case game, the case ball, another win and for FSR. 5-4 over Sanjin Pekivanovic. Yep, we've had some good matches today. We really have, but it's FSR who wins a classic against Pelovanovic. Five racks to four. They're just discussing what's going on on the breaks, no doubt. So here's what it means. FSR stays at the top, extends his lead and sets a new league record. Last year, Filler had 20 points off 29 matches played. FSR's got two more. So he can extend that tally. Well, Jason Shaw, who was with us in the box for that match, he's on 17 points along with Pilovanovic. Boy, Paga Lion, both on 16. Unfortunately, Conrad is out. He can no longer qualify for the semi finals. Oh, what have we got for you this evening? Table two order of play. Back to back matches for Ruiz. Then we'll finish with Pilovanovic versus Pagalaya. That is table two. This is table one. This is the table we will be watching. And we start with a short double header. And then we finish 
with Yushishun vs Oi. This promises to be an exciting evening here in Leicester at the Premier League pool. We will be back at 5.30pm.